Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirichir and their Prime Managing Director Daniel Kipto say the government has no control over the fuel price increase appearing before the National Assembly Energy Committee. The stakeholders from the energy sector stated that the increase in fuel prices is due to uncontrolled global market factors involving the stability of U.S. dollars. These are plus prices uh, from OPEC and there's nothing much you can do about there's been some 3.6 million barrels cut on daily basis, about 4%, 3.6 to 4%. And uh, uh, it's just unfortunate that we don't have our own uh, product as a country. But as we launched the EV guidelines yesterday, we did have a comprehensive presentation which we made to Kenya through the media. And we will attempt to spend some time to bring out uh, some of the clarifications on what's happening. Like, for example, kerosene chair between, between, um, between June and today, uh, the price has gone up by over $250 uh, per metric per, 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 per barrel from uh, a low of 600 to a high of 900 What we have previously done when we ran the subsidy program is we took this away from the Kenyan and they did not see the increase and we paid on the back of treasury balance sheet. Um, we do have the stabilization fund, which raises about five shillings and, four, five shillings and 40 cents uh, for each uh, diesel and, um, and, and uh, PMS, and which only collects about 2.5 billion. The increase this time on the basis of the plot pricing, the landed international cost prices was up by about 8.7 billion.